Hi, this is John from Final Cut Pro Classes, and today's tutorial is about how to add a clip to your existing multicam clip. Say, for instance, that you've made a multicam and you've cut it already, and your friend comes over and he has some clips of the same event that you want to sync into that multicam so that you don't have to recut your cut. Let me show you how it's done. So here I have my multi clip sequence that I started cutting, and here is my actual multi clip. So I got some footage later on that I want to add to this multi-clip so I can incorporate it into my cut without having to redo this whole thing. So I could either double click the multi-clip itself, which is here, or I can double click one of the clips in the multi-cam sequence and it's going to open up to this. So now I can see the layers in my multi-clip. So I want to add some more footage to this multi-clip, another angle. So I'm going to drop this menu down and say add an angle. And you can see that another track drops down in the multi-clip. So I have some iPhone footage that somebody brought me a few days later, and I want to sync that up to this existing multi-clip. So I'm going to just highlight everything, because they all have audio, and I'm going to drop it randomly in the timeline. Then, with these highlight, I'm going to drop this menu down, and it says here, Sync Selection to Monitor and Angle. Now the Monitor and Angle is where this speaker icon is, so if I have better audio on this one, I'm going to click this speaker icon and this will become the monitor and angle to sync those clips. But I'm going to go ahead and, and leave this one on and I'm going to say sync selection to monitor and angle. So it's going to analyze those clips by audio and once they're analyzed it's going to put them exactly in place of where they should be in the multicam clip. So now you can see that they moved all the clips to where they should be and if I put my playhead there and I go to my angle viewer I can see that angle is here now. Now if you're not seeing the angle, it's because you probably have two angles on, so you're only going to see the first two angles. But if you drop this down and say four angles, you will see that extra angle in there. Now when I go back automatically to my multicam sequence here, I'm going to see that third angle when it pops up. Now there's gaps in it, so as I scroll through, now I can see where that angle is, right? here is one of the other angles. So that's one way to add a clip to a multicam clip. So if I go back to my multicam clip and I'm going to delete that angle, there's another way to do it. So I'm going to add another angle and just start from the beginning. And I'm going to go to my iPhone footage. And let's say that, for instance, I want to just add this clip here. So I'm going to drop it in. And if I drop this menu down and this time I say sync to monitor an angle and I click it, what it wants you to do is move this playhead so that you can find a sync point in this monitor here, which is your monitoring clip, and then skim this to the exact same point. Now it's definitely going to be a little harder to sync it up than by audio, but if you find that exact point, sometimes you might have to blow up the timeline to be able to move that more accurately, the skimmer. So here I can move it a little more accurately. So let's say theoretically I've I found the exact same sync point. I just click it and it moves that right to the playhead position. So theoretically that would be in sync. So that's another way to sync up a multicam clip. So I'm going to delete this angle and I'm going to add another angle and show you one more way that you can just randomly drag a clip in and, and manually put it wherever you want. So if I drop a clip in here and now if I, I'm in the position tool, if I was in the select tool I wouldn't be able to move this. It would just stay where it is. But to move it around, I would have to be in the position tool. So now I can move this around wherever I want, and that's going to show up as my third angle, wherever it goes. So there might be a reason to do that. You have a lot of B-roll, you just want to randomly put in. Anyway, that's a way to add a clip to your existing multicam clip. And when you go back to your sequence, your multi-sequence, all that's going to be there. All those clips will be there. So I hope that helps people out adding clips to their multicam sequence. And thank you for watching. Subscribe or like, and see you next time.